Hi, this is Xavier from Army Recognition reporting from SOFEX 2014 in Amman, Jordan. SOFEX is an event fully dedicated to Special Operations Forces. The exhibition this year celebrates its 10th anniversary. One of the main attractions of SOFEX this year is the AC-235 Lane Gunship, a common project by ATK and local company CATB. Well, this program we started uh, actually about seven years ago uh, with CADB, and we're in conjunction with CADB. Uh, it was a requirement from the Jordanian Air Force uh, and the Special Forces to have a close air support capability and to have a gunship. Well, this is a CN-235 aircraft that we modified to a special mission aircraft capability. So the main capabilities are lightweight 230 cannon, weapons pylons where we launch Hellfire missiles and rockets, uh, we have a full defensive system that we put on the plane, uh, and we've totally modified the cockpit. So this is our lightweight 30 cannon. We've modified it and put a mount on for this platform to be used in the gunship configuration. This is a part of the countermeasures defense system. I'll talk a little bit more as we move forward up to the front. This is an ATK developed weapons pylon, uh, first of its kind. As you can see, it's not on the wing. Uh, we've made pylons much like a helicopter. We can mount Hellfire missiles, AGM 114s, and rockets on this pylon. So it's very versatile. We can put many different things on it. Right here is one of our primary sensors. This is the EOIR turret. Uh, this one's made by Westcam out of Canada. We are now inside the large pavilion of CADB, the local and state-owned uh, design and development bureau, where one division of CADB is uh, unveiling for the first time the multifunctional unmanned ground vehicle. This system is weaponized by two or twin anti-tank missiles. This system can be controlled via wireless from a distance of two kilometers where you can launch the missiles uh, against upcoming light vehicles. The unmanned system, this one, has also front and rear cameras. Also can be controlled via GPS system as a pre-mission planning for the system. This system has been developed by CADB team and integrated and manufactured by CADB team to help our like army to, to use such type of weapon against an, uh, any upcoming threat against us. CADB is also showing for the first time at SOFEX 2014 a new gun system project. And the whole concept is about reusing existing guns in inventory and recycle them, integrate them on modern vehicles to turn them into self-propelled howitzers. Actually, this is the uh, M102, the M105 millimeter uh, American uh, towed artillery. Now, the, the added value for, from Cadby to this cannon, it has changed the idea from towed artillery into self-propelled artillery. The capability of shoot and scoot is increased and enhanced. The time needed to be put uh, and sent to the battle is less than three minutes. And uh, we integrated this uh, cannon on a commercial vehicle from DAF company from Netherlands. This is very cost effective and very operational and a pragmatic solution for Jordan and the other armies in the, uh, in the region. 